it's that nerd Ryan here, and today we are going to be talking about four Disney Plus Lego sets. So really, when you think about it, only What If got Lego sets out of every Disney Plus show, um, at least so far. Who knows? We might go back into uh, time next year and maybe set up some sets for Disney Plus, but you never know. Um, so I wanted to go through and create a set for each Disney Plus show besides What If uh, when it comes to Marvel and uh, just kind of throw out ideas. Um, mind you, the pricing for these are not going to be even said. They're not going to be realistic because some of these would require one, a lot of minifigures, and two, a lot of pieces and just a lot of stuff that you don't really see in modern LEGO sets, um, especially LEGO sets that have quality, you wouldn't really see these. So that's why we're not even putting a price on these, uh, but I'll say what the scene is that would be based off of, what minifigures we would get, and probably the set pieces that we would get for it. So, the first one obviously is WandaVision. This is a set that I've already talked about um, wanting, and I think a lot of people probably want, is the WandaVision house. Now this could go from being like Bro Thor's uh, house to being a full-blown, almost like Home Alone house that we got recently. And uh, basically all it is is you would get Wanda, Vision, uh, the two kids, and Pietro, and probably Agatha as well because I mean kind of need Agatha for it you need the main villain um, and on that you would have if it's just the single room it would be the living room um, maybe get like I know Lego's never done this but we're just creating fun ideas here maybe there can be different exclusives like a Lego store exclusive and an Amazon exclusive a Target exclusive and a Walmart exclusive and each of them are different versions of the house so you can get the 50s version, the 60s version, the 70s version, um, 90s version, and modern version all together. It would basically be the same thing, it's just have different um, designs on the inside. And it would have probably different um, minifigures in it depending on the decade. Now the only issue with that would be that you would be getting different minifigures um, there are more minifigures in certain sets instead of different minifigures. So like you would probably only get Fietro in the 90s and uh, 80s house. But then you would be getting uh, maybe Monica Rambo in the 60s house and then you would be getting like just minifigures that go along with the episode. Um, I feel like that would be kind of cool. But then, of course, you'd get the living room, you'd get the kitchen, you'd get the uh, bedroom if we were to go full house, and then also get, um, I think they show, that's actually most of the rooms that they show from what I remember, and maybe something small outside. Um, so obviously it wouldn't be gigantic as the Home Alone house, but it would be basically a well-sized set of the house. Next is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, this would be the uh, truck, the top of the semi uh, truck fight scene. Um, of course, you'd be getting Bucky, uh, Falcon, Carly Morgenthau, um, Battlestar, and U.S. Agent. Well, it would be Captain America at the time, but U.S. Agent. Um, and what it would be, would it would have at least one semi, maybe both of them, but at least one semi. And then also with the Carly Morgenthau, you could probably get another Flag Smasher in there as well. Um, but yeah, so one or two of the trucks, and then a helicopter as well uh, for the entrance of Battlestar and U.S. Agent. I just feel like that would be a really cool set to have. Um, even if it's just with one truck, so that way you can just have these minifigures and have this awesome scene from the show. A backup on this too would be the opening scene for Falcon and the Winter Soldier where uh, Falcon fights the Leaper, 
I feel like that would be really cool. And then next we have Loki. Loki was really kind of hard to choose because there's not a lot that you could make Lego sets out of, but the one that I thought of was Loki's Lair, and by that I mean in Episode 4 where there's all the different Lokis. And in this it's just kind of like a Brothor cave, a Brothor man cave sort of thing, where you have Thor, you have, or I mean, I'm sorry, you have Loki, 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 and Loki and Crocodile Loki, um, and it's just like kind of just a little sad setup of like how they've been living um, after being pruned. So yeah, that would be the Loki idea. Now we got Hawkeye. Now as I'm recording this, there's only been four episodes re released. By the time this is released, the fifth episode will come out, so I don't know if there's going to be a cooler scene than this in the show um, by the time this comes out. but. Uh, this would be the car chase scene. So you get two cars in this. You have to get two cars in this because it's a car chase. And you get Katie Bishop, or Kate Bishop, sorry. You get uh, Hawkeye. You get. Um, I'm totally blanking. On, oh, Echo. I'm sorry. I completely blanked on Echo's name. You get uh, Echo's uh, right hand, which is Kazi. And then what would I thought would be really cool is you get the two cars, obviously, but you also get a buildable arrow, so you can get the uh, scene where Kate shoots an arrow up and then Clint shoots the Pym arrow and makes it bigger. That would be a really cool set to get, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, think those are pretty good sets. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it. Make sure you comment what uh, Lego sets you'd like to see. Make sure you subscribe for more Lego content. Make sure you ring that bell for more It's That Nerd Ryan content. And also, make sure you guys look in the description down below and follow me on all my social media. It's That Nerd Ryan telling you, we're all master builders on the inside.